I'm Sarah and I'm going to try out this really super duper easy recipe that I actually found it out of an old recipe book that I've had for ages. Um, quick background info, when my eldest daughter Olivia, when she was a little toddler I used to take her to these mainly music sessions and it was neat fun and afterwards they put on a morning tea and they got asked a lot for their recipes and after a while they actually put together this oh, book that's now falling to bits, this book which you can't even see what's written on it anymore, it used to say mainly recipes. So anyway, <laughs> and I just dug it out the other day and this is one that I haven't tried and it's got no one's name next to it so I don't know who made this, it's an apricot loaf. You add one cup of flour, just plain flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of brown sugar, one cup of bran, one cup of milk. My helper has appeared. <laughs> Did you want to mix this in? So chop up about one cup's worth of dried apricot. Are you wanting a cheeky dried apricot? Yes. Thought that was the main reason you'd appeared. Go on. Yeah. I'm guessing this is just going to be a little loaf tin. Not sure, so I'm going to grease this. We're going to bake this at 180 degrees Celsius for about 50 minutes. I've just left that to cool down for 10 minutes or so. Ooh, look at that. That looks pretty. Okay, I know they say the proof is actually in the tasting, but pretty matters. Okay. It doesn't feel like light and airy, it's reasonably dense-ish, but not like stodgy dense, I think, dense. Not like stodgy dense, I don't think. It is sweet. I think if I was to make this again, I'd cut back on the sugar a bit. It's very, I quite like the texture. It's, it's very reminiscent of the, um, pineapple loaf that I made once using a, a can of pineapple. Is that just two? I think it was three ingredient pineapple loaf. Very similar texture. It's almost slightly chewy-ish. But I mean, it's nice. It is, you know, it's a super simple recipe. I mean, I'm sure this could be made more refined, but this is just a very, very simple flavour. It really is dried apricot. That is the main flavour you get from this. Okay guys, excuse the bit of chaos. I was just sort of prepping for dinner. I've got some, some coleslaw and some pork mince and whatnot going on. However, you know how sometimes it just bugs you and you kind of think, no, I can change this recipe. This, this will be good. To me, that first recipe, that was perfect. If you just want something really nice, simple, basic to chuck in your kids' lunch boxes, two out of three kids have now tried it and confirmed it is super yummy. Me personally, I'm just going to make a few adjustments to this, so I'm going to play with it. Instead of one cup of flour, I'm going to add one and a quarter cups of flour, a teaspoon of baking powder. Instead of a whole cup of brown sugar, I'm just going to add about three quarters of a cup. The one cup of bran I'm leaving as is. You could probably replace this, I suspect, with crushed wheat bix. Again, one cup of milk. And I thought it needed a little something flavour wise. I'm going to put a teaspoon of ginger. I'm going to dice up one cup of apricots, but this time, I'm just going to, last time I did a little bit more than a cup because I didn't think it looked like enough. It was heaps, it was plenty. I'm just going to leave it as one cup of diced apricots. So 
So again, chuck that in two, so a greased loaf tin. So 180 degrees for about 50 minutes. You want to know something really annoying? Ten minutes into the oven and I look down on the bench and I see the egg that I meant to put in. <laughs> that was not part of the original recipe, but I thought an egg in there could just make it a little bit less of a chewy texture. So feel free to experiment with putting an egg in there. <laughs> That's better. It's not, it's not super sweet like the other version was. It's not quite as sort of that, that sort of chewy consistency. I think the egg would have helped that as well, but never mind. The ginger is very subtle. I can't taste much of that, but it is there. It's, it's been enough so that it's not just blow your head off dried apricot flavor. You know, it's, it's, it's lingering. Does that make sense? It's lingering in the background. I'd say this is the way to go. Maybe with that egg in it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that is yummy. I think even a bit of cinnamon or something, or mixed spice or something like that. But there you go. It's, it's a good recipe to play with. Have fun out there, guys, and we'll catch you next week. Bye.